used to be that ESG meant screening out companies that don't comply, but lately activist investors are screening in companies that would be the antithesis of ESG, like big oil, and then pushing for changes. That's what's going on at Exxon right now. A new firm called Engine Number no. One, led by an under-the-radar hedge fund manager, Chris James, is running a proxy fight seeking to overhaul the business by installing four directors to the board. Their bulk of their goal is to diversify the business into more clean energy while slashing costs elsewhere to ensure that that sacred dividend is protected. Now, the 17-day-old firm has just $250 million in assets, mostly James's own money, and its stake in Exxon is a nominal $40 million, or about 0.02% of Exxon's market cap. But Calsters already supports the proposal, and D.E. Shaw has reportedly built up a position and is pushing for similar demands as engine number one. As Josh Black of Activist Insight puts it, quote, building and maintaining its coalition of outside investors will be a formidable challenge, but if marrying environmental impact and profitability proves to be a winning strategy, the next few years will see that convergence continue. In other words, expect more campaigns like this one in 2021. Tyler. The on its own, the the the, the sort of upstart uh, investment fund that you mentioned there that has 0.002 percent of Exxon shares, about $40 million. <laughs> are they working in concert with the likes of D.E. Shaw and the other one you mentioned, or are they all moving independent of one another or just sort of attracted to the same basic idea? It's a great question. They're working in concert with Kelsters. That's been out there as publicly disclosed uh, as a group. But with D.E. Shaw, it's not exactly clear if they're working together as a group, which has a special SEC uh, connotation, if you will, uh, and has different types of uh, meaning as it pertains to a certain activist. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.